Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. Uh, how you guys? Hope you're doing great. Um, I thought I would talk today a little bit about uh, the middle, <laughs> the messy middle. The where you start a picture and you get the thing going like this, and then you kind of you kind of hit the doldrums. You know, it's that part of the journey that can be kind of you get ahead and then you fall back and, and it's good and it's not and it's up and down and up and down. I thought I'd just share a couple little things that I do to help myself figure this out, to take something that's kind of interesting, but there's a lot of, it's just not that great yet. So uh, I thought I'd share with you how I do that. Here we are, this is, I've just started this painting and um, what I do, so I just came in, I've worked on it I think just once, uh, maybe twice, but so it's still pretty unknown to me. I don't really know it that well, um, but I look at it and I have to figure out what to do. And what I do is I, I look at this and I try to decide what I don't like and what I have too much of. Usually the thing that's killing a piece of art, and this is a good tip for your own art, is to look and see what you have too much of um, that you don't like, that, that is limiting it. Because it's when things are all the same, that that's, that's, there's an opportunity there. So with this, I've got a lot of this kind of ugly, pukey, yellowy color, like here and here and here and here. And you see how all the, and so that's, it's sort of like the same, there's a sameness, a sort of a yellowiness to it. So that's something that I don't really like. And I don't really like that color. And then there's this flatness to all the colors as well. There's no texture on them. And that's happening everywhere. I mean, there's some interesting things happening here, but it's early in the picture. That's how a picture looks. Um, and also, there's all these little shapes that are about that big. There's a lot of common things like that. So what I'm gonna do right now is something that's going to, that's what I'm gonna attack right now. I'm gonna change that and, and it'll change the work. It, it'll move the needle on the work. So let me just demonstrate. I mean, I think it's gonna work and you never know. That's how I think about it. So that's the question you ask yourself. So I'm gonna go back into this with oil pastel. What I'm doing, you guys, right here is, uh, this is oil pastel and it doesn't dry really well. Uh, so I add liquid to it and I'm also smoothing it out and scraping it and making it have a more of a textured look. Um, but this will help speed up the drying. And this is liquid that I'm putting on here. Okay, so, so you can see what that's done is it's brought in sort of a textural surface to some of those areas. So now there's a, there's a relief between the flatness of the color, uh, you know, the flat, flat surface, and now there's sort of texture over it. It's also connecting the light areas a little bit. So those patchy little shapes are kind of combining, making larger, lighter shapes. So the painting's starting to um, have more differences in terms of breakup of space. Uh, so that's, that's how, you know, now I do the same process and look again, what do I have too much of? And maybe I'll need line to put in there and so forth. But that's a quick, uh, quick tip on how to uh, troubleshoot that, the messy middle part. So let me know in the comments, you know, how you uh, figure out what to do next in your work, because that really is <laughs> what this is. What question can you ask yourself so you, the changes you make will actually uh, move the needle for you? So let, let us know in the comments. Also, uh, actually, this week, uh, coming out on Wednesday on the podcast, uh, is I'm actually, I've recorded myself making this painting, starting. It's all about starting and the psychology of that. So uh, it's kind of an experiment. I've never, you know, done something like this where I've just talked while making a painting without showing the painting. Uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting. So. I'd love to get your feedback on that. Um, come and join me um, this Wednesday. It's going to be really fun. And there's a link down below. Also, uh, this, you know, right now we're uh, having folks sign up for the free Arts Life Workshop. Starts February 13th. 
It's five days long. If you guys have never done this, or even if you've done it before, you got to come back again. We've got some great stuff happening. Uh, some, you know, some of the coaches are doing some cool stuff in it. I'm doing a bunch of stuff. We've got prizes. It's from February. It's five days. It starts February 13th. Go to a2lworkshop.com and and sign up. There's a link down below. It's totally free, and it's all about getting uh, really about just what we were talking about: troubleshooting your art and figuring out how to get unstuck and how to make it better and better and better. And we go over the first three art to life principles pretty in depth, actually. And um, and then, uh, yeah, so come along for that. Uh, tell your friends, <laughs> click on the link below. It's gonna be great. Okay, thanks you guys. Hope you have an awesome Sunday. Okay. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So. Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.